Can you get ratings on pros.com if you were not hired on pros.com? In fact, can you get ratings on pros.com for jobs that you performed in the past before you even joined pros.com? I get questions like this all the time, and I've created a video about this before, but pros.com, the website layout has changed completely, and uh, so I thought it was about time to create a new video where I address all of these issues and when and how you can get a rating on pros.com because I always say these are the main things you need when you're first starting on pros.com. It's kind of the first thing people look at when they're looking at who to hire. And in fact, I thought the best way to do so was to have a walkthrough. So let's get to it. So first of all, you hover over your picture here on the top right and you get this drop down menu basically of a whole lot of things. And the one you want to click on is my WWA. WWA stands for willingness to work again. It's uh, pros.com's name for these ratings and referrals. Then you click on this because uh, you want to request uh, feedback. Someone else could be providing translator feedback, but here you're requesting it as a translator. So you click on this. And then, this is all you need to fill out. As you can see, you need to fill out the email address, and then the name of the contact person, whoever you were talking to. So let's say it's Robert. And then the company name. In fact, I don't even think you need a company name, although obviously it helps because then it links to their company if they're listed on pros, or at least it shows what company they work for, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I'm going to try here without a company name and see if that works. Yeah, it seems to work. So uh, here, as you can see, it already writes out what you need to send them. So you don't need to worry about that. Literally, all you need is their name and, um, and their email address. And that's it. And then it fills out your name, your email address, a subject for the email, the content for the email. You can change it if you want. And uh, you can say stuff like, hello there or whatever you want to do, and, um, and then you just send it off. And, and then I'll show you exactly what they receive to show you how simple it is for them too. Because what I usually do is I add something that says, pros.com makes it very simple, or it's very simple, so don't worry about it. And I wanna show you exactly how simple it is. As you can see on your side, all you had to do was fill out a name and an email address. All this is already written out, and then you just send it. Now let's try sending it. And then the person you sent it to will receive an email like this with basically written down what it said. And then they just need to click on, yes, I'd be willing to work again. Or they can say, I prefer not to give feedback. So there's nothing that says bad feedback or I really didn't like this guy. Just yes, or I prefer not to give feedback. In a way, you have nothing to lose. Now, I'm not going to click on this because that would just be weird. Then it shows me giving myself feedback. And obviously, uh, I wouldn't want that. Now, once they click on it, they do have options uh, to write something if they wish or uh, you know, to add their own notes or whatever they want, but they don't have to. Literally, all they have to do is just click on yes and confirm it, and that's it. It's very easy for all parties involved. And so that's why I generally recommend, if you've ever worked with anyone, even not on pros.com, even if it's on a volunteer basis or anything along those lines, to get your ratings and referral on pros.com because it's one of the things that is actually quite simple and easy and straightforward with pros.com. And in the future, if you work with people but you didn't get hired via pros.com, like maybe they found you on LinkedIn or face-to-face -face or anything like that, you can still get ratings and referral on pros.com, which is great because that means you can concentrate all your good ratings and referrals onto one website, i.e. pros.com, and, uh, and you can use that to find uh, new translation jobs. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully you found it's useful. And like I said, it's quite simple. Even with all the complication they have on their website, this is actually that's something quite straightforward. So hopefully you find this useful and uh, you can use it with uh, everyone that uh, you've done jobs with. Obviously, they need to be happy with the work you've done. If they're not happy with the work you've done, they're not going to leave you a good review. And uh, so, or they're not gonna leave you any review maybe. So you need to make sure that you did a good job. But uh, otherwise, if you've done a good job for someone, then absolutely you can use pros.com to ask them for a rating. And that's all for now. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye and sabedum.